I think if Zeus came to life uh, on Mount Olympus, this would be Beethoven. Big and muscular and crude and uncivilized and wondrous and idealistic and with mud on his boots. And if Beethoven comes in your living room and you try to take the mud off his boots, you've cleaned him up, but you've lost Beethoven. never had a conducting lesson in my life. I'd been homeless, I'd been in a mental institution. I elected to find whatever ray of sunlight there was, and when I had that 1% of optimism, I built on it and it grew. I used to sit on the stoop there in Harlem, and I dreamed at that time of having a great orchestra. And I'm almost there. In the New York world of music, Jens Nygaard was famous for his musicianship and his zeal for excellence. He was a highly respected musician, composer, and conductor, accompanied by a reputation for eccentricity. Damn it. I love you, but you gotta learn to count. Ya pa 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 be. Jens operated his own orchestra called the Jupiter Symphony for more than two decades. After his death in 2001, the New York Times and music reviewers paid tribute to his life achievements. But they could not have predicted the impact that his life would still have on writers, artists, performers, and audiences to this day. Fifteen years later, Jens' legacy resonates far beyond the expectations of those who loved his music. Well, when I think of my career as a musician in New York, everything seems to lead back to my time in Jupiter. Uh, everything seems to be connected to Jens and to, uh, to, to that specific uh, time. It was uh, in many ways my introduction to, uh, to New York musical life. Honestly, I never thought in uh, my wildest dreams that this was continue as long as it did and uh, to at this kind of level too. I mean, we really, it was just one of the, you know, greatest experiences of my life. <laughs> 